Um, I was just curious, what do you think, uh, what would you like to see my generation, our generation, um, doing and to inspire others to, uh, you know, pursue all that is mushrooms and, uh, you know, to demand the knowledge be put in these textbooks and uh, things like that? Well, in a way, it's, it's happening now, um, but in micro ways. Uh, there's a lot more awareness now of mushrooms than there, there had been, say, uh, 25 years ago, or when this conference began in 1981. Uh, you couldn't have found the variety of mushrooms we have now in the marketplace. Um, while it's true that biology textbooks still really do contain practically no information about mushrooms and very little about fungi, uh, there are a lot of programs out there, a lot of schools now, that are offering courses in mycology or ecology where the fungi are brought in. And so where we, we talk about the, uh, the use of mushrooms as decomposers or in keeping the health of the forest system together, uh, these are, there are courses now in lots of schools that bring this out and kids are out in the field uh, doing a lot of research and a lot of material now is coming out about the use of mushrooms around the world by different cultures. If you saw Daniel Winkler's program, um, Tibet is just one good example uh, that could be multiplied many times. So there's much more awareness and we are coming together more as a world um, people uh, we're uh, realizing that, that we share with a lot of other peoples around the world, maybe not our politics, maybe not religion, uh, maybe not uh, various practices we have, but we share a love of mushrooms. And we are learning to, to, to network with these other people around the world. And this is all good. This is all happening. And the new generations are going to make this even more available. And America is going to join the rest of the world in this kind of mushroom awareness. You know, Gary, just to follow up, uh, we actually have a young person leading uh, Sunrise Foray again tomorrow at 7 o'clock if you want to go to Elks Park. Uh, Mesa Hollenbeck is going to be, Mesa's right here, Mesa's going to be leading a, a walk out to a Boomerang Road. So you can follow the young if you make uh, it up that early. Just one other thing. Uh, one person who was an early uh, participant here at Telluride, uh, Kathy Cripps, um, went on to get her PhD in mycology and she is now a tenured professor at the University of what, Montana, Missoula, Bo Bozeman. Um, and she got her interest in, in, here at Telluride. And there are two other um, uh, people, one at the University of Washington, Seattle, and the other at, North, at Duke, um, who both were regular attendees here. And one is doing graduate work in um, uh, mycological genetics. So it's very exciting. These are, these are all young people that were coming here to the foray and got the bug. And I, and I think, uh, I think Skyler and Mesa probably have that also. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to be doing um, in life because I suspect at some point they're going to be doing something with mushrooms. Question back here. I got a little bit of a comment and then a question. Um, you know, I'd love to see the festival get, you know, big. I mean, this, of course, the way the atmosphere really seems to spread the love of mushrooms and everything in general. Um, but my, my question is, how is this movie, I mean, I think that's beautiful, it's perfect, you know, how, how, that's gonna entice a lot of people to wanna come here. How is it gonna be, you know, when's it gonna be available, how is it gonna be available, and that kind of thing, I guess, is my question. It'll be out uh, September 1st on DVD, yeah. and... On Flash, yeah. flash Drive. And on Flash Drive, flash drive. yeah, and DVD okay. within on a month or so after December that. December 15th. Right? 15th, yeah. December? Yeah, um, December 15th, you can get it on, from Amazon, and uh, it'll be a regular price DVD. If you are really interested in getting the collector's edition, it's available September 1st, and it includes a flash drive, first ever flash drive feature film available in North America. It's a first. And in addition to the film itself, you get, um, Larry is going to include a package of um, Alaska, Alaska morels? Alaska. Yeah, so um, yeah, you get that and you get a, hand, a special handcrafted box in which this comes in along with some material about the, um, about the film. So that's September 1st. Where do we get it? Yeah, where's that? Uh, I think it's going to be available if you um, go to the internet and, and click on Know Your Mushrooms or Films We Like, I'm sorry, Films We Like and you can order it from them. I think it's $65 but it's a special collector's edition. And the box, perhaps, can be used as a mushroom um, basket next year. 
take the question here. Yeah, um, you say that not to uh, have the button mushrooms or the criminies um, because they're sprayed and things, and, and also there's all these other varieties in the store. Uh, basically, you don't buy anything from the grocery store. Stick with pepperoni on the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that one. Um, there, um, there are, there's a, if you ever noticed in many places, there are no insects anywhere. Uh, I live in New York, and there are never any insects on the fruits and vegetables. And anywhere you go in the rest of the world, there are as many flies as there are seeds in fruit, many more. And um, you wonder, why aren't there any flies? Why aren't there any insects? Why is there nothing alive around the, plant, the fruits and vegetables? Well, the same is true about mushrooms. There is a lot of, pestic a lot of spraying done, pesticide spraying done on um, a lot of the plants we eat that are sold in the markets that are supposed to break down over time, like the lettuce grown in California, by the time it gets to New York, there's a breakdown so that it's, it's possible to eat it. If you eat it in the field in California, you get sick on the spot. The same is true with mushrooms. Now, as far as Agaricus bisporus goes, while I know that there are people who believe it's also something that will help um, prevent cancer or, or help um, deter tumor growth, there has been a lot of studies, not so recently, uh, by Bella Toth at the, I think, University of Kansas or Nebraska, who determined what I said in the movie, that he was giving um, oral uh, feedings of uh, Garicus to, uh, Garicus bisporus to uh, lab, lab animals. Admittedly, they were mega doses, but they were producing um, <coughs> tumors. And this gives us reason to suspect that these uh, mushrooms are not as safe as they appear to be, at least raw, which is how mushrooms are generally um, promoted by the mushroom industry, that you can just eat the, the common commercial button mushroom sliced raw in salads, and maybe it would be safer if they're cooked. That's all. Are there more questions? You know, uh, at 10.30, I want to let you know, we have Brian Vicente here. Brian, you want to stand up, let people see. Uh, he's going to be speaking about legalization here in Colorado. So uh, when you uh, leave, we'll come back at 10.30 and hear the rest of the program. Can we have that sooner? We can do it right after the questions if you like, yeah. 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 Okay. Any more questions? If not, let's give a big hand to these two guys, huh? We'll start Brian's talking in about five minutes, okay? Let's take a five-minute break.